This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install 32 gig of RAM in an HP Z800 workstation. Um, so if you've never been to GreenPCGamers.com, you should definitely check it out. Um, you just go to www.GreenPCGamers.com and then click on the blog page. And if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you have a Z800 workstation. So what you'll want to do is search Z800. And then there's going to be an option that's called Z HP Z800 Gaming Computer and Other Hardware Upgrades. You want to click on that. This is an amazing uh, blog page that will show you a bunch of awesome upgrade ideas for your Z800 workstation. As well as we're going to show you some of the part numbers that are compatible um, for memory. So if you haven't purchased memory yet for your Z800 and you're looking for part numbers that will work, um, you can go to this page. Uh, we show you from 2 gig modules all the way up to 16 gig modules um, on what you can install. Um, there's other upgrade ideas as well, like graphics cards, monitors, other accessories. Um, so you definitely want to bookmark, bookmark this page. Um, using these upgrades, you can you know hopefully get another three to five years out of your Z800 workstation. So let's get to the actual install. So before we do our install, we're going to give you a little bit more information on what the Z800 supports. Um, it supports... 8500 or 10600R um, registered DDR3 modules. Um, so the, the the memory speed will clock out based off of your processor. And in our case, we have an X5690 processor. So the 10600 memory will run at 1333 megahertz and the 8500 memory will run at 1066 megahertz. Um, so the X5690 will clock it out as fast as it can possibly go, which is 1333. Um, the system has 12 physical memory slots. Um, there are six slots for each processor. So if you have one processor installed, you can use six slots. If you have two processors installed, you can use all 12 slots. Um, it supports up to 96 gig of RAM with a single processor installed and 192 gig of RAM with dual processors installed. So it's important to buy memory uh, based off how many processors you have installed. All right, so here's our Z800 workstation. This is a refurb system. I mean, this system's going on close to 10 years old now. And here are our four 8 gig 2R by 4 PC3L 10600R modules. Again, the part number to these modules is on greenpcgamers.com. And we're going to install four of these. Um, so put your system on its side and remove the side panel. Now, this system's got some pretty crazy looking cooling plastic shrouds that we had to remove. Now we're going to remove both of them just so you can get a better view of the system. Technically you only need to remove the top shroud to access the memory. So once that top or middle shroud is removed, now we need to go ahead and remove this cooling fan assembly that keeps our memory uh, cool. So there's two fans. You can remove it like so. And it really grabs on that connection there. So you want to focus on that, that side. Make sure that connection gets loosened up. All right, now you can see our memory slots. Um, again, we have one processor installed, so we can only install six memory modules in the system, which is plenty. Um, so it goes DIMM 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so we're just going to open up those slots because that's where we are going to install our modules. Again, here's our 8 gig module. So there's a little notch that we just pointed out. You want to line that notch up with the system board slot or the, the memory slot. Um, and when you line it up properly, you'll be able to install that module really, really easily. So what we have is the manufacturer code facing the power supply. So line it up and then you can just push each side until it clicks just like we're doing. Line it up, push each side until it clicks. And it's as simple as that. We're gonna just do that for our, all four modules. So we have 32 gig of RAM installed. All right, so our modules are installed. Now we need to put everything back together. So basically we have our fan cooling shroud that we need to reinstall. Make sure that connects properly so that the fans will run. And then we have our 
two plastic shrouds that we need to, need to reinstall. And they clip really easily back into place. Uh, they need to be flush mounted so that the side panel can be reinstalled. All right, so you can see the, how they hook on the left side. All right, so everything's installed. Just need to put our side panel back on. All right, so now you need to just reinstall your system, plug everything back in. So the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to come up and say uh, memory configuration has changed, F1 to save changes. We'll do that. We have 32 gig of RAM ins installed now. And now we're going to the F10 setup to make sure that the F10 setup is seeing all of our memory. Um, we can see it. There's 32 gig of RAM installed running at 1333 because that's the max speed our proc supports. And then you can see our dims right there. All right, so now we've loaded into Windows 10. We're going to go into System. And we have a 64-bit OS installed, so we're seeing all 32 gig of RAM. So everything's working perfectly for us. Our 32 gig RAM install was successful. Um, if you have any questions about this install, uh, make sure and comment below. Or you can comment uh, or send us a message through GreenPCGamers.com. Um, this video was helpful to you. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, that lets us know that we uh, we should keep making these videos to help you guys out with installs. Um, also, we do monthly giveaways on GreenPCGamers.com. Um, or you can uh, go to our Facebook page and like the page uh, to qualify for those giveaways. Thank you so much for watching.